Hello and welcome my friends to the Flying Kick. I am Savino and today I bring to you a small look on the TMNT Kawabanga collection from Konami and Digital Eclipse. So, we have here, we all know we have here 13 games from the 8 bits and 16 bit era. A uh, uh, lot of beat and all beaten ups, uh, including the arcade games and a lot of fighting games that I don't understand too much. I will look more over the, the beaten ups because that's my area. I suck at fighting games, I always suck at fighting games. <laughs> So I, I, I have nothing to say about them, but let's take a look what's in this collection. First of all, into what I found very interesting, first you have online, which is great. You have the Turtles Lair, which has a lot of cool stuff. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. You have the boxes for all the games released. Take a look at this. This is, this is great. This is absolutely great. This is absolutely great. And this is not simply simple renders uh, from the boxes, no, this is, seems to be pictures of the boxes. You can see some details here, like those bumps here. This is clearly a, a picture. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is, this is the type of thing that should be in all collections. Take a look at this. This is nostalgia to the max. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Manhattan Project. Oh boy, oh boy. I played this game very little back in the day. I guess I already had a Super Nintendo, that's why. What? Oh, the Japanese. Tournament Fighters. Oh, the Game Boy boxes. And more than that, you have manuals, which is very hard to find on the internet. Believe me, I tried. I find some, sure, but... Japanese manuals I never found. And this is very interesting. This is history. This is this is great. This is great. You have ads and catalogs. Take a look at this. Look at this. I remember this one. I had a friend that had one of those. It was crap, but we love it. <laughs> oh boy, this this is so this ad is oh. This ad is so horrible. Take a look at the turtles. Jesus. Who walks? Who whacks that? Why Michelangelo is yellow? Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at look at this 80s hair. Oh boy. That's the true 80s hair. Marvelous. I love it. This is all great. This collection is amazing. What what is this? What I'm looking? Catalogs and media kits. Media kits, I don't know. Oh, Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Oh, no. oh great. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh comic books. You have the cover for the comic books. Oh. Issues of the, the old TNNT comic books. I had this one. This was my first the first time I saw anything about the turtles before the cartoons was this this comic book. I found it in a, in a store near my house. I had no idea what it was about, but the cover caught my attention and I bought it. I fell in love immediately. Oh boy, this was the good stuff. All right, let's go ahead. There's oh, there's all covers. That's great. That's great. What else? Animated shows. This is a pity because they they could really add the the, the animated shows at least for the, the 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 first show. It would be great to have it here. Just pictures, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, but it could be better. Oh, there's the name. When was air? Probably. Great, great, season 2, 3, 4, 5, season 6, 7. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 seasons, I forgot about that. <laughs> 
some behind the scenes about what? About the games, yep, behind the scenes of the games, a lot of documentation in here. This is great, this is all looks great. Oh, this is for the first game, explain which... Oh boy, I wish I could read Japanese. There's some indications of points here. Life and damage, probably. This is great, this all looks great. What else? Music? We got some... Oh, nice, nice. This is the arcade rendition. For the SNES. This is arcade, I guess. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. Strategy guides, if you need any, any hand dealing with this, those games. Uh, interact. Oh. oh my, nice. Oh, that's great. That's great. It's an all damage rock? No, no. Oh. Not at all. What was that? Oh, oh, now that I read it here. Explain not to jump on Bebop. Oh, alright. Not Bebop, Rocksteady. Alright, alright. <laughs> it's fair. So, beside that. You have online, as I said, where are the games? Games. What we have here? We have the first... Yeah, this, this game is good. People, people like to bash this game because I guess some fault goes to AVGN because he did that video trash in this game. But this game isn't bad. It's not great, it's not the best turtle games, but if you give it a chance, you can have some fun with it. It's a very old school, but uh, I was playing it a little bit yesterday. It was very, very nostalgic and fun going up and down the stairs to grab more pizzas to refill my energy. It was very, very nostalgic. We don't have much of this today. What else? Turtles, Dirty Game, Manhattan Project, very good. Tournament Fighters, those games I never played. The Turtles for Game Boy, it's a hard, it's a hard bargain. It's a, it's a, they are a little, um, I don't know, simplistic, no, I don't know, but they are, they aren't my favorites, even, even when we talk about nostalgia, yeah, not really for me. The arcade, the real arcade game, great, this is great, Turtles in Time, the SNS version is, is better, in my opinion. <laughs> We have here Turtles in Time from SNES, Tournament Fighters for SNES, I never played, Hyperstone Heist. I need to play this game more. I, need to, I guess I never finish this game. I, every time I start playing, I turn it off and go to Turtles in Time. I find way better for some reason. The game is basically the same in terms of gameplay, but yeah, yeah. I had her play Turtles in Time. But I will give this game a chance now. What else? Tournament Fighters for Genesis. And we are back to Turtles 1. Alright, another thing that I another thing that I think is very cool here. Uh that we grab one game here. Hyperstone Highs, Turtles in Time. Uh, you have a lot of enhancements now, so you can set the level you want, you can put a, a you can set a dash button. Extra lives. Uh, all games have those small sheets that you can use. See, like playable bosses, extra reversal stages, maximum speed, extra lives gives you more continues. Hyperstone Heist. Oh, Hyperstone Heist doesn't have extra lives. It's deep scenes. Let's see this one. This one does Sprite Flicker. Whoa. Starting level, we move forward, spike, spike, speaker. Easy navigation menu, what is this? 
allows in-game menu to be navigated with directional input. Oh, instead of select, that's great, that's great. That's great. God mode, extra lives, fancy jump kicks, allow jump kicks to be performed early during jumps and far more, far more to Oh, this is awesome, this is awesome, a lot of awesome enhancements here. That's amazing. Whoa. The Game Boy, the Game Boy version doesn't have too much extras. Which is a pity. But mode, nightmare mode. Oh yeah, nightmare mode isn't easy at all. Let's take a look here real quick. Don, of course, I'm a Don guy. Oh, I have to watch this. This is so classic. <laughs> oh my. Turtle powers. Jesus! Whoa, there's a lot of enemies here. Jesus! That's... Yeah, probably that was the, the difficulty that the owner of the arcade shop here my home put at those games. To be frank, I never, I never like that much this game. It's cool, yeah, but as a beaten up uh, for the time, we already had Final Fight in the arcades, then it, 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 it lacks that oomph, you know, in the combat, when you hit the foot soldiers, there doesn't have much... It doesn't have much of impact, I guess. Look, oh. It's not like Turtles in Time have a, a, a way better combat. Come on, this is ridiculous. I'm already down to zero lives. Oh boy. This is for four players only, of course. How do I leave the game? Here? Jesus. I don't need to be humiliated anymore. That's great. That's a great collection, but that's the point. For 30 bucks, uh, for 40 bucks, I think it's a little bit expensive than it should be. I guess. Uh, but if you're, a, if you're a great fan of the Turtles, if you think that... Uh, you need this in your life, go for it. There's a lot of content here. What they have put in this collection is fantastic. It's amazing that the amount of stuff they pack in the single in a single release. But if you can wait, if you don't are not uh, very hyped for the collection, I think that waiting uh, a little discount would be better. 30 bucks, 25 bucks, and this game would be a no-brainer at all. But for 40 bucks, I little I think it's a little it's a little expensive. But the emulation seems good. I'm having no pro oh, there's a little uh, slowdown. Did I notice that right? Yeah. No, it seems to be okay. Alright, that's my game. Oh boy, I love this game. See, that's what I was like, talking about, the Turtle Arcade games. When you hit the enemies, they don't have this, this, this oomph. And you don't... You can see if they are really feeling the pain. In Turtles in Time, you have this way more clear... Oh. No, no. Where's the run button? Oh, oh. again? Oh. Oh boy, I'm kind of stupid, but yeah, that's <laughs> I have no, I don't have much more to say about this collection except this is a this is a great collection I guess. Although it's not worth 40 bucks, I think it's a, as I said, thousands of times, it's a very expensive, not just a bit, and actually it's 40 bucks. It's very expensive. I pay the same for 
SnowRunner, I guess? A game that I have 500 hours on it. But, uh, yeah, if you really love the Turtles, if you really like the, the, those games, if you have uh, a great nostalgia for it and you haven't played in the ROMs for a long time, I guess the, go for it. it. There's a lot of content that you worth your time here and your money. For me, it was a, yeah, it was a gift, to be honest, for my, from my good, good friend Gobili. Uh, I wouldn't have paid 40 bucks now, I, I wouldn't have the money, I'm from Brazil, most of you already know that, and the dollar is pretty high right now here, so 40 bucks would cost me a fifth of a minimum wage, a bit expensive for a collection of ROMs, I guess. But I think, it, I think it's a good collection, I think when, when people launch collections, that's, that's the way to go, that's the best way to go full of stuff that will make us, us fans uh, happy to have finally in hands like the manuals, the documentation of the game, things that we won't find anywhere on the internet, at least easily. And that's it for the video guys, I hope you like this small reaction. And if you like me to do more more videos like this, please tell me in the comments. Uh, a lot of bad English because it's unscripted, so sorry, I guess. <laughs> but I guess you guys can understand me. You know, my English isn't that bad, is it? Come on. But that's it. If you like the video, please tell me in the comments. If you don't like the video, please tell me in the comments too. I must know everything. And that's it. See you guys in the next video, I'm preparing one video that I will be releasing tomorrow or Saturday with a hack for uh, Streets of Rage 2, a nice ROM rack that I, I guess you guys will love it. And probably release tomorrow, I'm, I'm playing the game right now, I'm recording some footage for you guys here. But tonight I have an appointment, so I don't think I will be able to put it today. But tomorrow, Saturday tops. We will be talking about this wrong wreck, this wrong hack. That's pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. You guys will love it. So, that's it for the video. See you guys in the next one. And please remember keep it enough.